So tonight we're going to talk about Kindle funnels, and this is the main thing that I do right now. It's it's the main thing I've been doing for a while, and uh, it is pretty much. I can't really think of a better kind of online model that's out there right now. The power of Amazon is crazy. Now it does take some time to get traction with the Amazon selling machine or the sales machine. Okay, I accidentally just said the name of that product about selling physical products. That's not what I meant. Uh, the sale, the sales machine that is Amazon.com, not that course about how to sell physical products on Amazon. So on this webinar, I'm not going to do my whole intro thing about me because um, nobody probably cares. So we're just going to get straight into the, the content. So this is kind of what, this is kind of a, a funnel. This is a funnel for anything online, really. This isn't specifically a Kindle funnel. But it will start with traffic somewhere that goes to your website that then goes to an email list and then to your Kindle books and then to info products of your own and or affiliate products. So this can look a little different. Uh, the way that it would be different for specifically for a Kindle funnel is the Kindle funnel or the Kindle book would be on the top and then it would go to the email list and then to your website. Um, and the thing about the Kindle books and your website is they can send traffic to each other. So the more traffic you can send to your Kindle books from outside of Amazon, the more the higher it will go in the sales rankings. And so the more organic sales from within Amazon.com you're going to get, which if you have kind of a lead or a, a bonus lead magnet thing inside of the Kindle book, I'll talk about this more in a minute. If you have that set up, then the Kindle, the increased sales from Kindle lead to more traffic and opt-ins to your list. So the whole thing at a certain point uh, will kind of snowball. So here's the big picture. We are going to do a rundown of basically the, the model from top to bottom. And this will be this will be simplified. This will give you the things that really matter. There's a lot of other things you could do with your websites, little tricks or other elements you can add that can help. But right now, we're going to cover the main things that your site needs to have. Um, the first thing, you will start off by choosing a topic, which you'll then create a Kindle book for, and in the future, several Kindle books. Now, one thing about uh, one thing about Kindle books is you're going to want to pick a topic where you can create multiple Kindle books, and there's kind of an art to that because let's take uh, let's take Dr. Laura Schlesinger for example. I was looking around on her kind of her books that are available on Amazon, and she has all these books. And really, they could be summed up into one book that's about advice for women on how to get along better with men. That's kind of her thing. For some reason, she's kind of on the man's side. Um, in you know, if in all her advice, if you've read any of her stuff, she she kind of. Anyways, that doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm even getting into that. But she has all these books about women getting along better with men and somehow out of that one topic she's created you know a dozen or more books I can't remember how many books she has and and that is what a successful author is able to do take one topic and just create entire books around these little subtopics and so you don't need to have you know you don't need to try to find this vast uh, topic or market or niche for your for your website and your books, you just need to find a niche that's selling a lot that a lot of books and or products are being sold in. And then that's kind of just the, as you get better at this whole thing, it's marketing really, is coming up with different angles, spinning off of that one 
idea or topic or niche or whatever it is and creating you know multiple books and creating multiple books is a big part of kind of this this strategy and just building building this kind of business in general and you'll see as we go on here so you'll then have a website and your website's your home base for your business. So on your site, you will have pillar articles and then you'll have ongoing blog posts. So you'll also have YouTube videos, maybe even a podcast or other content channels. But the basics and the things that you shouldn't really skip are these ongoing blog posts and YouTube videos. YouTube videos is one of the well, I would say it is the best long-term free traffic method that exists. Um, I have YouTube videos in a bunch of these little niches. And if it wasn't for these YouTube videos... So, if you've been on any of my other webinars, you know I'm always saying how uh, I have all these niche sites on these obscure topics. And the first thing that I kind of figured out and got good at online was creating my own info products or video courses for these kind of obscure very narrow uh, topics and you know my sites have been hammered through the Google updates and everything like that but my YouTube videos never have over time my YouTube videos just kinda do better and better and better and so I have all these uh, that was kind of my method from day one is I was I would create these articles for my uh, for my niche sites that would be free articles on the site to get traffic and then I would create a simple YouTube video based around those articles just kind of a PowerPoint simple video and those those YouTube videos to this day all of them like still work still drive traffic still send sales and things like that and then the other thing is these long autoresponder sequences um, that provide more content and offers both to the freebie lists and to the buyers list. People that have bought my info product and the people that all they ever did was opt in in the first place. They never buy my product, but they still get these messages for other related products after my main sequence. So that's that's not really advanced, but that was deeper than this slide was talking about. Anyways, YouTube videos are huge. Uh, some people have kind of a weird mental block about not, or they feel weird having their voice out there online or being on video, you know, let alone their voice being online. But uh, you don't have to do that kind of stuff. You, you can create effective PowerPoint type videos. Ryan Dice created a whole course about this, how he claims that PowerPoint videos are even more engaging and uh, attention getting than than someone actually being on film. And I don't know about that. I have no idea if that's true or not. But I know that these simple PowerPoint type videos work just as well as you need them to. Okay, the next thing is, so you've got kind of your pillar content on your site, your YouTube videos that kind of drive traffic for you. Then you'll be building a list of subscribers from your website as well as from your Kindle books. So to get subscribers from your Kindle books, you'll have a special bonus for each Kindle book. And so when someone buys one of your Kindle books, they can click a link in the book and go to an opt-in page for the bonus. So that is how you get your Amazon buyers uh, onto an email list. So taking this a, a lever, uh, a lever, taking this a layer deeper, what you'll want to do is you'll have a, a separate uh, autoresponder sequence. So you'll set up a separate list, and then a separate autoresponder sequence for those buyers. And you know they they just bought something on whatever topic it is. If it's uh, organic gardening, there. Are, there are several organic gardening info products on ClickBank that sell really well. And uh, you can have an autoresponder sequence set up that will just send them a couple informational articles, then a product promo. Then a couple more informational articles, then another product promo. 
And a lot of these products on ClickBank, the vendors in their affiliate tools section, they have these informational articles with a very soft product pitch. And then they have email autoresponder messages that you can just paste into your uh, your Git response account that are more, you know, like a direct promo, like check this course out, buy it for these reasons type thing. So you can you can kind of auto load those into your your autoresponder sequence. And I mean, yes, it's better to add in uh, just some completely organic not not organic original content maybe two emails with no product or affiliate links at all and then um and then these promotional emails but to just get it done and get it out there i i do this all the time i just take their autoresponder messages from the product creators and put them in my autoresponder sequence so yeah so we're done with this slide so now as your list grows, let me jump ahead because there's something I need to tell you right now. Oh, okay. I do get to it. So as your list grows, each Kindle book that you release will do better and better because when you can launch a Kindle book and instantly send 20 to 50 or 100 sales to it, uh, your book will instantly go somewhere within the top 10,000 and most likely stay there for weeks or longer. A lot of times longer than that. Especially when you... I might get to the... Or I might say this again in the future, but just so I don't forget. You will keep your sales rankings pretty steady if you have your little images of your Kindle books as like little sidebars or little images below your, your main message content in your autoresponders. So when you send when you set up your autoresponders, you'll have your main article content and then you'll have your Kindle books, you know, as just little picture icons and I just I just use the uh the cover of the cover of the Kindle book right off of Amazon and you make that a clickable link to your books and those go out in all your autoresponders. And you'll you'll see a lot of Kindle sales just from those emails, um, and then some of my emails are direct promotions for my other Kindle books, and it's just you're constantly making these small offers to the people on your list, and that might sound like it's too much, but it's not because um, people are very used to that. When you get emails from Amazon, or I don't know get social or what's the other one pretty pretty much any business out there all it is is promotions oh dick sporting goods i buy a bunch of golf stuff from them so i get these emails constantly with deals and promotions that's all it is people are used to that so when you have these little promotions in your emails plus just some free informational content in most of your emails then people are fine with that it it doesn't matter your open rates stay high um it just it performs really well so anyways that's kind of the i have a very specific strategy for launching a kindle book a new one because i do this quite a bit now and uh it's both the strategy of how to sell a bunch of books quickly um with kind of a pricing uh limited offer strategy thing and then offering a bonus um, a way of getting reviews quickly both of those and those are crucial a, a big upfront number of sales and then getting a bunch of reviews really quickly like in your first week that is kind of the the two big keys to high kindle sales rankings um, and i cover that stuff in in uh inside of stray blogger training exactly how to do that okay so then another thing you can do Man, as I start talking about this, all these ideas come to my mind, or just all the things I need to mention. Sorry, let me just... Okay, let me, let me go to this first. I'm skipping a slide, but I'll come back. So, you've got your... Uh, l- let me ask you guys this. Is this making sense to you so far? Does this kind of... Do you see, like, why this would work, or... 
does it make sense? I don't think it's very advanced stuff, but okay. So I'm I'm seeing a lot of yeses. Okay, just seeing if you guys are awake, basically. Okay. So the uh, your main autoresponder sequence, you're going to want to have these messages spaced one week apart. And the reason you do that is because you'll stay active doing... So you all probably know this, but when you have an autoresponder software like GitResponse or Aweber, you have autoresponder messages which you set up once and then they're set out they're sent out on a in a sequence spaced a number of days apart that you decide then you have like newsletters which are just live emails like if i wake up tomorrow and want to send a an email to my stray blogger subscribers that's just that's a a newsletter so those are like real time kind of current emails so the reason you want to space your messages one week apart is because you'll also stay active sending usually at least one newsletter a week and that might be, that might be for a new blog post or now let's go back whoops or you can do ongoing promotions with your existing Kindle books where you lower them from 2.99 to 99 cents using the Kindle countdown promotion and that'll really send them up the bestseller rankings for quite a while again. Uh, and so you use your newsletter to really fuel those promotions. And again, kind of a, I don't know if this is a limiting belief or something people think about. So, so the people, when I talk to students and uh, people I've kind of taught to do this stuff, I, I've no, well, not that I've noticed because I've done, I did the same thing when I was new at this is you think of all the negative aspects of everything that could happen or that your list, the people on your list might think about. So when it comes to doing one of these 99 cent promotions, including all the other stuff I've just talked about, a lot of people think, well, I've already, I told them when I launched this book and I have the little pick, clickable picture of the book in all my emails already. So why would why would anyone buy this now? And the answer is, I don't know, but it just happens. Um, just not everyone sees your emails all the time. They might just not have seen your email, a single one of your emails for two months, and they happen to see this promotion about, you know, one of your best selling books that's on that's ninety nine cents now for three days or something like that. It's just you just keep doing these little promotions and this stuff keeps working. So you can use the, you can use a three day promotion, five day promotion, seven day promotion, um, to, to do these little mini relaunches of your books, putting them back, putting them back down to 99 cents. So the other thing is in your newsletters, every single time you link to your, uh, Kindle books, whether it's, in your autoresponders on the sidebars or below your main message content like I was talking about earlier or if it's a direct promotion or if it's when you launch your book I mean whatever it is you always use an Amazon affiliate link to link to your own Kindle books because then you will get anything else that people buy when they click through to Amazon in that browsing session and that'll really add up um, you know to be to be honest and it it sucks but i used to have several uh amazon affiliate sites you know when that was like popular or whatever that was like a year and a half ago and i had i had several of these amazon affiliate sites that did really well that were just the the domain name was like best stroller reviews or something like that and uh that just I'm not saying it doesn't work anymore, but I don't spend my time just trying to create review sites anymore at all. And so for a long time, my Kindle, my Amazon affiliate income went down a lot. And now it's, it's higher than ever because 
so many clicks through all my emails and all my autoresponder sequences every day are going out and the, there are these Amazon affiliate links and I see people buying all this crazy stuff that I'm getting credit for simply because I'm linking to a 99 cent Kindle book and they end up buying their week's groceries or whatever while they're on Amazon at that time. Uh, it happens all the time. Groceries get bought through my links constantly. I don't have a single site about groceries. <laughs> Gro yeah, I have no sites about groceries. Um, so it happens all the time. So that adds up. So you want to make sure and, and do that with all your links going out to your Kindle books. Uh, let's see. I kind of mentioned this. So then, so that's your main autoresponder sequence that we just talked about. Then you'll set up specific autoresponder sequences from your different book bonus lists that uh, that promote related affiliate offers. Okay, yeah. So we talked about this. I mentioned the organic gardening idea, and uh, on ClickBank and on Kindle, you can kind of compare any niche you're thinking about and see if okay, are there some ClickBank products I could recommend, or you get accounts with Commission Junction, Share a Sale, Link Connector, Link Share. These are these big kind of professional affiliate networks that deal with bigger brands. And uh, if your site's set up and you know you've you've done a good job of creating like helpful content and it looks professional, you can get approved for all kinds of other affiliate programs and add those as your little um, your little mini promos or put little banner ads from these different affiliate programs in your autoresponders that go out. And you'll see sales from that stuff. It just pr promotions in emails even if they're secondary promotions, you're not mentioning them at all in like your newsletter content of your autoresponders, you'll see sales from that stuff. Um Oh, and I want to, so before I forget, I don't have this written down. So the other advantage of having kind of a set autoresponder sequence sitting there, especially if you're using basically anything but uh, AWeber, because AWeber's stats were like unusable. It was hard to even tell what it was, the stats were trying to say. Now, now that I've switched to Git response, I can go in and look at any of my autoresponder sequences and I can see just a listing of the titles or the subject lines and then the open rate. And I can switch it between unique open rate or overall open rate. And I'm, you want to look at unique, of course. And it will give you kind of a, uh, a plus or a minus percentage compared to your other average open rates. So anything that's like a red, a red number, which means it's a poor, uh, a worse performing subject line, you just kind of update those. So that's another ongoing thing that you do, because if you can take your, you know, if you have 20 autoresponder messages and take the average open rate from 20% to 30%, you're going to see a lot more sales and a lot more clicks to all the offers across your autoresponders. And so... That's another thing to keep in mind that you want to check uh, every two weeks. You don't want to spend a bunch of time on that like three times a week, but just every two weeks you just look at your autoresponder open rates in your stats section of Git Response and try a new subject line for subject lines that aren't performing that well. Okay, so back to this slide. Uh, you can periodically go into your autoresponder service and I do this weekly, and you can move any subscribers from these specific autoresponder sequences based off of a Kindle book bonus. You can take them and you can move them back onto your main list. And the, so the reason you would do this, some people have already been on your main list and then they bought the book because you told them about the book in a promo. And then they, uh, they end up on this bonus list as well. So for those, it, it doesn't matter. What you're really doing is you're taking the people who bought directly from Kindle who have never seen your website before and you're putting them back on your house list or your main list so that they just start through the autoresponder sequence. And Git Response does a good job of this because 
if you have people that were on your main list, you send out a promotion email, hey, I'm launching this Kindle book, and a bunch of them buy it and end up on the bonus list. But then also a bunch of people from Kindle um, bought the bought the book as well and got on your bonus list. When you move those subscribers back, once they've finished the autoresponder sequence, it won't change the status of the people who were originally on your house list. And it will add all the new people that bought directly from Amazon to your house list. Hopefully that makes sense. So you don't have to try to search certain names or put in all these parameters, get response like knows. We'll do that automatically. Okay, so the next thing is your Kindle funnel generates income. You'll set up uh, $5 a day Facebook campaigns to grow your list even faster. I'm sorry, I need to go back to this. So this auto your main autoresponder, as you create weekly blog posts, and that's what I would shoot for. Don't try and do anything crazy unless you have the time, like a blog post every day. Just try to do one new blog post a week. Because the main thing, the best thing that you can do for the future of your business is to keep your relationship fresh with your list. And again, as you create these ongoing blog posts and you add them to your main autoresponder sequence, you know, set seven days apart, the little promotions in the sidebar of your emails or below your main content, that's fine. You can keep doing that. That's not going to ruin your relationship with your list. If you're sending just pure promotional content, you know, so the main the main uh, newsletter content is just a a two line sentence and then a link to a ClickBank product every time, that'll burn your list out. But you just send out these blog posts that are content only that lead back to your site and you keep as you keep making f- new blog posts each week, you add those to your autoresponder sequence. And uh, even besides your the little promotional links in your emails, as you have people returning back to your site, you know, you'll also have money pages, maybe some reviews for some some of the best products in your niche and and also your other Kindle books so that every click back to your site is just more and more opportunities to make other sales on other products. So, you want to keep adding those uh adding those weekly blog posts to your main autoresponder sequence. Okay, so back to this as your as your funnel your business generates income, you'll want to set up a $5 a day Facebook campaign and kind of start messing around with paid traffic. But I would keep it at $5 a day for a while. Um, and if you're, if you're using lead pages, you can do the split testing automatically. If you're using um, optimized press, then you can, I mean, you can do free split testing with Google Analytics. It's a little more, it's not, well, it is more complicated than lead pages, that's for sure, because you can't just click a button and, you know, say add a, add a split test. But with a little work, you can set up just your main, or your, uh, your landing pages that you're using Facebook traffic on. You can do split testing for free with different software that's out there. So you want to split test. You want to, from Facebook traffic, a 20% conversion rate is pretty good. Um, you know, you'll see these bull crap, uh, like product launch content, you know, where it's like video one, video two coming soon, all that stuff. You'll see those where they're claiming they're getting like 80% opt-in rates from Facebook. And that might be true, but it's usually... Uh, a promoted post to their own Facebook likes, so their own Facebook audience. So I'm just saying cold, kind of like Facebook traffic, paid traffic to an opt-in page outside of Facebook, a 20% conversion rate, you're doing pretty well. If you're at 30%, it's kind of interesting. It varies greatly on the topic as well. If there's a lot of promotions going on in the same topics like dating advice, stuff like that, which I have some books on and some websites about, uh, that's pretty crowded and it's just, it's tougher. 
then I have these more obscure topics and I can see Facebook traffic uh, conversion conversion rates on my opt-in pages at like 50 to 60 to 70 percent but there's not very many people advertising these kinds of courses so it just depends but if you're doing kind of a mainstream topic 20 percent is is pretty good the other indicator is uh if you can get your average conversion or your average lead cost to be below two dollars you're doing you're doing pretty well that's pretty tough to do on facebook anymore so anyways, that's just something to, something to think about. That's not a required thing. The first thing I would do is get to like 20 to 30 pillar pages of content and then 20 to 30 YouTube videos. And after a couple weeks or a month, a couple weeks or a couple months having that set up, you'll have a decent amount of free traffic coming to your site. So when you put all this together, it adds up, it kind of snowballs. The thing that you cannot leave out is building a list. Um, this is another thing going forward. You can create your own info product. And that's another thing that just kind of leave that as an idea in the back of your mind. Don't think you have to do that right now and, and get overwhelmed or anything. Okay, and this same idea. As your subscriber base grows, you'll be able to offer different trainings, workshops, and other offers to your list. There's all kinds of, all kinds of things you can come up with to generate more revenue from your list once you have like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand subscribers and on. Um, so I kind of just said this, the thing that you cannot leave out is, uh, is building a list. All of your traffic, or at least as much as possible, should be put in front of your opt-in form. So getting someone on your list, it is very literally the number one thing you can do for the long-term success of your business and to gain a lot of traction. So I have gone over a lot of stuff. Now you guys, you can ask your questions right now. We'll get to the questions in a minute and some people have asked some, um, but as the questions come to your mind, go ahead and ask the questions and then I'll have them in the questions box and I can go back over them in a minute. But I've gone over a lot of stuff and I've mentioned some things that I know not everyone on this on this uh, webinar knows how to do yet. So how to learn this stuff. Uh, I have taken a bunch of my courses and then I've added courses and I've put this all inside of Stray Blogger Training. I sold all these things separately at different times. And uh, I've taken all these info products, put them into one training course. And the big difference here is that this isn't just a bunch of how-to stuff that will get you overwhelmed and kind of burnt out before you even start. It's not just a, you know, a knowledge dump either. I've combined these, uh, these skill courses, productivity and copywriting, because you can know the reason those two things are so important is you can know how to do all this type of stuff. In fact, I guarantee you that anything I mention, you kind of uh, you've kind of heard before or know that you should be doing in different forms. But being able to do this stuff and get things to convert, and being able to come up with offers or headlines that kind of like instantly get at a prospect's main desire. Um, knowing how to do that really comes down to kind of understanding copywriting. And so that's why that's kind of a foundational required skill. And so that's why I have this copy, the copywriting pro course and productivity pro course. Those are 12 weeks of training. So the idea is that there's a video for every week for 12 weeks and the productivity is important because again you probably kind of have an idea of the things that you should do but it's so distracting especially whereas most people you know still have kind of a day job so at most and you have a family things to take care of when you are home so at most the average person has like one good hour or maybe two to actually work on their their online business so that productivity is crucial. And most people that I've talked to, when I really ask them, okay, so in, in the last month, how much, how many hours of work have you really done? Or how many, 
how many articles have you written on your site? Or in the last three months, how many Kindle books have you published? And it's usually, it's just, it's it's not good. It's, uh, it's usually, well, I've done maybe two or three hours of work in the last month. And I mean, two hours of real work on an info product or an info business like this, it'll take you five years to get anywhere. So the productivity, being able to undistract yourself and really get to work and get make progress every day that's almost more crucial than knowing how to do everything else so anyways uh on this webinar starting right now and this special link there will be a discount um instead of three payments of 67 dollars it'll be just three payments of 46 dollars and so let me put this link in the chat box and it'll only be it's it'll last 48 hours from now so let me whoops hold on if you look in the chat box now you should be able to click that link and uh, you can join stray blogger training for a discounted membership it contains everything here it's not I don't leave anything out and also for the first 20, whoops, for the first 30 new members on this webinar starting now, I've got a 90 day fast start course. This is a new course. I've never had this before. I'm finishing this up. Most of the videos are done and I'll have this inside the members area for the first 30 people who join starting now within the next week or so. Well, within the next seven days for sure. And, uh, so yeah, the first 30 people who, who join through this special link will get access to this 90-day fast start course. And the point of this 90-day fast start course is this is a lot of content. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's probably, I haven't added it up at all, but there's probably close to 100 hours of how-to information inside of Stray Blogger Training. There's a lot of stuff. And so the 90 day fast start course walks through exactly what you should accomplish in your first 90 days and how to get things set up correctly. So that'll be very helpful. Then specifics on the courses inside the Kindle workshop. The whole point of this module, well, there's several modules. The whole point of this course is to teach you how to go from having or not even having an idea to having a published Kindle book live in three to four weeks and if you just follow the steps inside you'll you'll be able to do that it's it's a lot more simple than than people make it um, you'll you'll learn how to write book descriptions that generate sales how to set up your books Kindle preview that will pull in readers and make it sell uh, how to use free software to create great looking Kindle covers um, You'll get that my launch strategy I talked about that will show you how to generate a lot of sales quickly as well as get a bunch of reviews quickly. In the Keyword and Research Market Pro, this course is about learning. It's it's more it's about keyword research and market research, but it's about how to find things that are going to sell well. It's about how to find keywords and YouTube video topics that will get a lot of attention and a lot of free traffic. It, it's not just a regular, here's how to use Market Samurai training. It's That's not what it is. It's, it's more advanced or more usable, uh, more functional than that. In Free Traffic Flood, I'm giving you the very watered down version of these courses because my voice is starting to hurt. But all of these courses have sold Okay, not all of them have sold over, have sold thousands of copies, but let's see. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. These have all sold more than a thousand copies each at higher prices usually than what I'm selling the whole Stray Blogger training for right now. And then Copywriting Pro and Productivity Pro. These were, I mean... These were courses that I added because I realized that 
the average person out there buying these courses about how to do this internet marketing, they don't have the skills to kind of back it up or make things work. So I added these courses to Stray Blogger Training. I never, I never sold these two courses separately, actually. Okay, so Free Traffic Flood is about the different kinds of content and how to use it to get a lot of free traffic. That's kind of the bottom line. I think there's like seven videos in this course, and it's all about how to set up these free traffic streams that will that won't really quit. Authority Site Pro is a very, very in-depth, tons of videos from start to finish, how to set up an authority site and structure it. And uh, this isn't different than what we've been talking about. This is basically just how you'll set up your site in the long term that you'll it will be your home base for selling Kindle books, possibly selling uh, info products and things like that. So I have three pages of description because there's so much stuff to talk about. But this, this goes through A to Z. This is a, a ton of content in there. Info Product Pro, this is how to set up your own info products once, once you get to that point. Um, this was my first kind of course that I launched about what I was doing online and I've updated it since then but my uh, my bread and butter for a long time was these little info products that I would sell for 47 or 67 dollars and then have a 77 dollar upsell and I still have a bunch of these things online that like I said with the YouTube videos they just they keep generating sales it's stuff people want to know that people are willing to pay for and this course is, is how to do that Copywriting Pro is, like I explained, it's 12 videos, one video a week about taking you from a novice to really understanding and being proficient at copywriting. I'm not saying that you could call up uh, like the proactive people and get a job there, but it'll be a big help. You'll at least understand the things that make up persuasive copy and be able to do it on your own. Productivity Pro is this is the best description I can think of it'll take you from a shiny object chasing newbie to being able to accomplish more in one hour than you have in the past six months so each week you get a video about different aspects of productivity and how to put it all together so that you quit wasting your own time and when you do have time you'll be able to sit down and get things done okay so I've gone through a bunch of courses that I've paid anywhere from $500 to $2,000 for, and everything that I've learned that actually works, what you can find inside of these courses. So it's kind of a condensed version of everything that I've tried that actually worked, I've put it into these courses. If you don't feel like the training's worth more than your investment, I'll give you your money back within 60 days. I, I don't want your money if you don't think you're getting more value from your investment than what's inside the course. Um, I mean, the value of all this, it, it's pretty as simple as I've sold thousands of copies of these courses individually, several of them for a higher price than what I'm offering it to you for all of it right now. Uh, so I won't expound on that. So then I have a graphic about how to make this all kind of fit together um, in the tier one this is kind of you know the beginning stuff you have the free traffic flood course the Kindle workshop this is where you would start or this is where I would recommend you start and then as you kind of plan out the content for your site to base your Kindle books on you'll do the keyword and the research pro videos you'll learn what I have in there for you to learn and then the Authority Site Pro, you kind of treat that as a reference as you go when it gets to, okay, how do I set up, uh, how do I do interlinking on all my pages? How do I set up blog posts versus pages? How do I set up money pages versus, you know, informational content versus, uh, like, news? I can't remember what I call it. Another kind of content that's based kind of on not current events, but uh, popular topics within your within your niche, kind of how to find those, how to create content about it, how to curate content in some cases. Anyways, you treat this Authority Site Pro 
all these videos as kind of a reference as you get move through the certain parts of building your site. The Productivity Pro and the Copywriting Pro, those are just skill courses for you to work on in the background. Um, frameworks so that you're working in the correct format as you create these, you know, your marketing, your autoresponders, your sales pages, your Kindle descriptions, everything that leads to a sale or an opt-in, you, you approach those from the correct framework so that they work better. And then Info Product Pro, later on, I would suggest you create your own info products, but don't get overwhelmed by that in the beginning. Okay, so let's go to some questions. Again, the sale on this, uh, at this link, straybloggertraining.com slash special link. That's only for the next 48 hours. For the first 30 people that have joined from this webinar, uh, we'll get access to this 90-day fast start in the next few days once I just polish it up and add it to the, to the members area. Okay, so any questions that you have, just go ahead and ask them now. I'll go back through some of these. Uh, let's see. So one of the one of the questions is, how do you how do you know what to make a Kindle book for versus turn into an info product? Okay. So the question is, how do you know if a topic is better for a Kindle book or for a uh, an info product. The answer is it really it can be the same thing for an info product. So first of all for a Kindle book, I like keeping my Kindle books between like 40 to 80 pages and I like selling them for 2.99. It's just kind of that standard uh that's become very normal, very popular on on the Kindle store. Just kind of a quick read. If any of you have noticed, there's actually now a a topic or a what is it? Not a topic, a uh, almost a genre in the Kindle store. When you look below Kindle books, there's a quick read section. And anyways, those have become popular. That's what I like to create. So you can just create a condensed version, whatever the topic is. And then for an info product, you can, you just create a, a more robust version. You, I mean, to make it easy, you would take each chapter of your Kindle book and maybe expound on it and turn turn each chapter into three different videos. And then you have an info product. You could add the word advanced to your uh, Kindle book title and sell that through your autoresponder sequence once somebody's bought the book. And and people would buy it and have no problem with that. So that it, you can make it that simple for yourself. <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice fast. Uh, let's see. So the next question is, do you still focus on SEO? That's a good question. I, I do not. Well, let me give you an example. So two years ago, I was really concerned with kind of, I would pick a niche, find a URL, uh, an exact match domain. You remember when those were really popular, or maybe you don't. But that was kind of the first step to getting in the top 10 rankings. And then I would do all this link building. There was a bunch of link networks I used. And uh, I was really, that was like my main focus for each site. Now, I still do kind of, I, I do keyword research like I'll show you how to do in the keyword and re keyword and market research pro videos so that I know I'm basing each article or each piece of content on a a keyword with a higher chance of getting rankings eventually but I'm not doing a bunch of active link building I'll create the content I'll create the YouTube video um, then I'll do then I'll do some Facebook traffic to it but the YouTube videos really take off. Um, there is a Fiverr gig that I will show you in the 90 day fast start videos that has been working 
really really well for ranking YouTube videos so I pay this I pay five bucks each time I create a YouTube video I'm kind of always testing uh, different Fiverr gigs by the way and that's something you can do to find basically these great outsourcers for five dollars a lot of the gigs don't do anything but there's a gig that I've been using for the last few months that's working very well for uh, ranking YouTube videos so anyways those are kind of my steps and I'll I lay those out step by step in the 90 day fast start course but yeah to answer the question I do not focus I don't get all crazy and worried about SEO like I used to I kind of do the basics correctly and then just keep moving on and creating more content more Kindle books and those rankings a lot of the time eventually kind of just come especially with the YouTube videos Um, and then yes, if you're a if you're a stray blogger member from a while ago, you'll you'll still be able to log. I mean, if you're a stray blogger member, you have lifetime access, so you can, yeah, you'll be able to log in and access everything. Okay, so I'm getting some some people saying they've joined that they're logged in. That's awesome. Uh. I don't know what the number is now for the for the bonus for the 90 day fast start. I'll have to look at that later, but I'll send out the replay, give you an updated number on that. And uh, yeah, I think we'll end this. My voice is getting pretty raspy. So this will this sale is good for the next 48 hours, probably for the next I don't know 15 people at this point that's left. I'll I'll be adding the 90 day fast start course to your uh, to your access for free if you're one of the next 15 people who join and thank you for showing up